welcome back to 7 to 4. We've got a local band competition allowing you to come on out, support your favorite high school band, and enjoy some wonderful music happening this Saturday. The Blue Ridge Festival of Bands hosted by William Byrd High School. Deanna Schuler is the band booster president. Joining me now, Deanna, what's going on? Hey, well, thanks for having me on. I'm just here to promote the, the competition that we're having this weekend, and yeah. I'm really excited to be able to talk about it. Now, how many bands you got out there? Um, this time we're going to have uh, 14 bands, Whoa. and uh, we're also going to be hosting an exhibition by the, uh, the Roanoke College uh, m marching band that yeah. has restarted this year. Uh, so I, I guess that might be a good opportunity too, maybe some recruiting kind of oh, going, absolutely. On, going on through there as well. Yeah, um, as a matter of fact, last year Roanoke College attended our event uh, in a recruiting capacity, and so this year we have quite a few uh, members of the Roanoke College band that are graduates from William Byrd High School. Oh, that's good. Coming back, you know, seeing trying to you know, give the pointers to the to the underclass and all that, you know, yeah. puffing their chest. What is that? So you, you were telling me off camera about three years you've been involved. What, what does that mean to you as as not only as the president, but as a parent, knowing that colleges are now uh, we're, we're having a pipeline to college with these band competitions. Oh, it's it's huge. It's, it's so huge what we can do for students. Uh, just being there, being supportive, opening up those avenues, you know, getting opportunity for them to kind of showcase talent for folks that are watching. And also just to encourage that, uh, that love of music and the ability to extend that, you know, beyond into careers and, and future teachers. Yeah, about how many, how big is the, the Bird Band. The Bird it's, Band has uh, 75 students this year. That's a, and that's a pretty good sized band. Yeah. I mean, for for high school, I mean, you think it's like, like college sized bands too a little bit. Um, and and I'm I'm a sucker too because I love the William Bird's football field. I like it's beautiful over there. Like there's a, there's a beautiful scenery everywhere. A, a, just a great spot to have uh, a band competition uh, and a festival. So for maybe somebody that's never been to a festival like this or band competition, what, what can I expect walking in there brand new? Okay, so to walk it in, what you can expect, it's going to be a full day of marching band competition. Uh, we start things off around 1245, our first band starts showing up and getting ready to take the field. Mm -hmm. um, 220, we're going to kick it off with the national anthem, and then our first bands will start to perform. Uh, they perform in competition, uh, starting from Class A, which are kind of the smallest bands, kind of in number, all the way up to um, you know Class 4A, 5A, uh, and then the, comp the uh, exhibition at the end of the show. So uh, throughout the course of the day, you'll be able to see all different kinds of bands throughout the region, different talents. Each show has a, a special theme and a different repertoire of music that they're presenting. Mm -hmm. uh, you also get a chance to see some awesome props and just oh, theatrics yeah. as part of the show. <laughs> Um, and of course, we'll also have some other things going on. We'll have concessions, food vendors, we'll have some 50-50 raffles and just different things that folks can get involved with throughout the day. Just a good time. Yeah. From start to finish. Uh, in 30 years, how long has this thing been going on? It's been going on for over 30 years, yeah. It was started by uh, David Vale. Uh, he was the William Byrd Band Director for about 14 years. Mm -hmm. uh, when it started, it was actually called the Preview of Champions, and it was a lot earlier in the band season also. Um, over time, it has kind of moved further and further back because, as you might know, it, it takes a long time to get ready to perform a show at yeah. that level in front of an audience. So uh, more and more, it's kind of pushed back later in the season to give folks a chance to get comfortable with their um, with their show and with yeah. their set. Well, and, and it also, it, it's cooler this time of year too. That's always a big thing. And that, and then, you know, by the time maybe like we're in the, the, the heat of the battle, the final competitions, the sun's going down again, the, the sunset at Bird is, I mean, chef's kiss. Um, you got that going on, just the whole atmosphere. And like you say, it gives them more time to perfect and, and tighten the screws on a couple of things and, you know, get the flat to sharps and sharps to flat and all of that good stuff. So uh, is there ticket pricing? If, if, what, uh, what are we looking at there? Uh, yeah, so it, it is a fundraiser. It's, it's the biggest fundraiser that the Bird Band has every year. Uh, so ticket prices are uh, $10 for adults, uh, $5 for children, good and deal. then kids five and under are free. 
clear bag policies, anything like that? Yes, there is a Roanoke County has a clear bag policy, so we just strongly advise anybody bring their things if they, they need them, their necessities in a clear bag. Um, otherwise, uh, there's just the usual, you know, you attend a high school game or, mm -hmm. uh, you know, any kind of sporting event, just try to follow those general guidelines. There you go. Uh, and we'll put all the information on the screen now and as well over on WDBJ7.com. It's getting kicked off. Uh, first notes ringing out right about 2.30 on Saturday afternoon. So get out there and, I mean, like, like we were talking, hours and hours of just very good music. And go support the kids. I mean, this is the other thing, too. You know, I mean, they, they, put, a lot, they put a lot of hard work into this. Yeah, absolutely. They start in midsummer yeah. to, to prepare for this show. All right. Uh, Deanna, good to see you. Thanks for coming on. And go out and support them.